Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the stage, the author of The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night. Thank you, thank you. So, I'd just like to ask you a question, a couple of questions actually about the book, and it has been really a successful book. Thank you. I quite enjoyed it myself actually. Thank you. And the children did as well. So, how do you think this book might affect people after reading it? Well, what's, what is your first uh, impression on people that are autistic? Well, you kind of, I think personally, you know, all that, that must be hard for them, you know, probably have a really hard life. Yeah, yeah. Well, this book kind of, it explains how, what they go through. So, for example, near the start of the book, they... Uh, he, Chris explains that he has to take in all the information of the players to feel comfortable. Yeah. So when he goes into like a supermarket or shopping center, it's really hard for him because there's just too much information coming at him. Yeah, yeah. So just that's why you see autistic people lying on the ground screaming sometimes in public places. Yeah. It's really hard for them. It must be hard, yeah. Yeah. I've got another question now. Um, why did you use the, the characters you did use in the book? Well, his father is quite a laid-back personnel, and his mother is just a bit overwhelmed by having a child yeah. like that. So I think that's why um, they kind of got torn apart, and his father is just, he couldn't really handle that. That was a bit too much for him. So he felt like he had to lie to Chris, yeah. which obviously didn't work well, because Chris is autistic and he just he can't handle those emotions. So I think it worked really well having those three characters because they really bounced off each other when they expressed their feelings. Awesome. All right. One last question. Um, what techniques did you use in your writing to really explain the story? Well, I kind of... I, I got readers to see the point of view of an autistic person so they could really connect with them in a way. So now they know that it's not just them being, I don't know, like a pain. They actually realise that it's not their fault. Yeah. It's, they can't help it. But I, I think that Chris really matures in the end and I think he's a better person than he was. Alright, well thank you for your time. Thank you. See you later.